It's hard to imagine a wedding or birthday ceremony without a cake. Many festive events involve some sort of sweet treats. In fact, pastries and confectionaries are so deeply embedded in the culture that it can be traced back thousands of years. To satisfy a craving for sweets, one would only need to go to a grocery store or to just shop online from the comfort of their home. Pastries and technology go hand in hand, and mass production of baked goods has revolutionized the way we think about them. Oh, hello again, and welcome to another edition of Bazaar. Guess what? We are zooming in on Iran's food industry once again, with a special focus on baking equipment. We will also take a look at some of the products that have made Iran's sweet tooth possible, as well as the national and international markets of these items. Personally, I can't wait. Let's have a look at this sweet story. ventured to bake Sanat, where we visited its production line to understand how these machines are made. We also wanted to meet some of the people who make it all happen. It was first established over three decades ago and began manufacturing its own machines about 10 years ago. This place is a one-stop shop for all sorts of bakery equipment needs. It also sells coffee shop equipment, fruit juicing machines and ice cream machines. It manufactures items from small wares to large commercial ovens and mixers. Among its vast product portfolio, this company offers ovens, freezers, fryers, sheeters, tables, and much, much more. تحریم ها علا رغم مشکلاتی که برای کشور ایجاد کرد ولی برای تولید کننده ها برای کسایی که انگیزه تولید داشتن ولی تا اون روز شاید این سیستم واردات ما رو به یک کرختی واداشته بود دیگه مجبور شدیم به تولید و یک خیریتی داشت برای کشور و برای شرکت ها از جمله ما The machines produced here are used in bakeries and confectionaries as well as hotel restaurants, grocery store chains and even hospital kitchens Some of the devices here are imported and sold through agencies, while many others are manufactured and sold by the company itself. خیلی حساس بودیم روی در واقع محصولاتی که بخوام روشون کار کنیم. سعی کردیم از برندهای خیلی معروفی که که توی دنیا تو این صنعت در واقع کار می‌کردن، این برندها رو انتخاب کنیم، برندهایی که در واقع جواب خودشون در اصل تو بازار پس دادن. بعد از انتخاب در واقع محصول در واقع و حالا واردات محصول چیزی که به دست ما میرسه سعی میکنیم در واقع محصول رو با همون کیفیت در واقع تولید کنیم Many companies are beginning to indigenize equipment and machinery. Importing machinery can be time consuming and expensive. So in order to solve this problem, many in the production sector are turning to widely available domestic resources. The country has many highly trained and competent engineers, as well as being ripe with raw materials. Locally manufactured machinery is also exported, which brings in foreign revenue that contributes to the national economy. حدودش پنج سال هم هست که شروع کردیم به صادرات. در صادرات موفق بودیم به کشورهای حوزه خلیج فارس صادرات خوبی داشتیم و با توجه به این اختلاف نرخ ارزی که هست استفاده از کالای ایرانی تولیدات ایرانی خیلی به صرف است. خب با همون کیفیت کالاهایی بود که کالایی هست که ما تا امروز تا سال 90 وارد می‌کردیم ولی خب قیمتش الان یک سومه یک چهارمه طبیعتا برای کشورهای دیگه هم این خیلی جذابه که از کالای ایرانی استفاده بکنند و ما داریم روز به روز روز صادراتمون فوکوس کردیم داریم کار می‌کنیم Most of the raw material for production at this company are purchased from inside the country. 
This place purchases steel sheets, wires and plastic components from other manufacturing companies. It then takes these raw items and shapes them for the desired machine components. Then, these parts are assembled and welded to make a final product based on design plans. بازار ایران به نظر من بازار بکریه برای سرمایه گذاری خارجی و جای جذابیه برای سرمایه گذاری خارجی چرا که جای دیگه دنیا اشباه مشابه شرکت ما در سراسر اروپا هزار تا هست و دیگه جذابیتی نداره برای کار ولی ایران با این تراکم جمعیت و با این بازار خوب برای هر شغلی از جمله کسب و کار ما برای تولید ماشینالات صنایع غذایی نان و شیرینی بسیار بسیار بکره و ما هم طبیعتا استقبال میکنیم از سرمایه گذاری خارجی The company employs industrial engineers and designers to create various machine models. It has also created job opportunities for people who live near the manufacturing facilities. As bakery businesses must adhere to food safety standards, the machines and equipment used to produce food products must also match these standards. Aside from food safety standards, these machines must be dependable with quality assurance. یه آینده خیلی خوبی رو من متصور هستم اینکه بتونیم در واقع تیراژ محصولات رو ببریم بالا و اینکه انشالله در آینده با توجه به بحثی که برای ارز پیش اومده و قیمت محصولات خیلی توی ایران رقابتی شده نسبت به کشورهای دیگه من یه آینده خیلی خوبی رو متصور هستم که بتونیم در آینده خیلی نزدیک تو بازارهای جهانی بتونیم در واقع حرفی برای گفتن داشته باشیم High quality of a diverse range of attractive products are what drive competition in the food industry. Bakers need high quality products to satisfy customers. And to fulfill that goal, they need the latest dependable equipment. The result is more customers with varied tastes, which steers companies to expand their product portfolios. So, machines are important to the ecosystem of the food industry. The corporation understands that for many in the baking business, investment in the employees is a high priority. In order to increase quality, employees at baking companies need to be equipped with the knowledge and skills to operate new technology. Staff members need to be able to employ new production methods and operate a disciplined process, all of which requires skills training. For this reason, this manufacturing company has developed a training center called the Bake Academy. Baking companies can send their staff to be trained on how to work the machinery manufactured here. تکمیل کننده سرویس که ما به مشتریامون میدیم از سالهای پیش بس آموزش بوده. برای اینکه این روند رو ما تکمیل تر بکنیم و یه سازمان خیلی خوبی بهش بدیم، تقریبا چهار سال پیش مجموعه که الان اینجا هستیم به نام Bake Academy یا آموزشگاه تخصصی صنایع غذایی بیک صنعت رو تأسیس کردیم و تکمیل کننده خدماتی بوده که ما به مشتریامون تو بحث آموزش میدیم. The company also houses a quality control unit as well as a research and development department. These departments are responsible for creating new products based on the growing needs of customers in the industry. Also, these units are tasked with optimizing existing products and implementing national and international standards for equipment production. ما کنترل کیفیت رو در شرکت در سه مرحله انجام میدیم. یکی مراحله در واقع مرحله اولیه مرحله ورود کالای خام اولیه است به داخل کارگاه. این مرحله از این نظر غایز اهمیتی که ما داخل تولید به مشکل خاصی بر نخوریم. در واقع از نظر فاکتورهای اب آ جنس و اینها در واقع اینا بررسی میشن بعد از اینکه فرم کیو سی شون تایید شد وارد بخش تولید میشن کار تولیدشون شروع میشه و انجام شده در این تولید هم ما یک کیو سی داریم محل دوم اون هست که برای هر کدوم از اینها فرم های خاصی در نظر گرفته شده آیتم های خاصی دارن به پرسنل سرکشی میشه از نظر نحوه مونتاژ بررسی میشه و بهشون در واقع نمره دهی میشه بعد از این مرحله مرحله کیوسه نهایی هست که برای دستگاه کامل شده از انجام میشه ما توی این مرحله ریز به ریز عملکرد دستگاه رو و 
بررسی می‌کنی. The firm has overcome numerous obstacles and challenges in order to appreciate its many successes in the field of manufacturing and production. به شما بگم که دیگه الان واقعا ترسی از تحریم ها اینها ما نداریم یعنی خیلی مسئله مهمتر و سختتری تو پرس های تولید هست و تحریم خیلی مسئله جدی برای ما نیست ما سال هاست داریم جنس و کالا هامون رو صادر میکنیم و مشکلی تو بحث دریافت پول هامون نداریم چون همونطور که همه میدونن به صورت کاملا غیر مستقیم این اتفاق میفته از طریق یه سری واسطه هایی که هستن و مشکلی تو بحث دریافت پول هامون خدا رو تا به امروز ما نداشتیم a large market for pastries and confections in Iran. Yum, yum. These items have played a major role in Iranian culture for a millennia. The tea-loving culture has a sweet tooth, breaking out the treats for any occasion and especially to enjoy with tea. Personally, I'm a big fan. It's heaven. You can always count on pastries to be present no matter where you go in this country. In fact, Iran's per capita consumption is around 21 kilograms each year. Iran has a total production capacity of biscuits, confections and pastries of around 2.5 million tons each year. That is based on figures from Iran's Biscuit, Confectionery and Chocolate Producers Association. The statistics from the association show that Iran's actual production is 1.6 million tons annually, which is below its capacity. Also, some 70% of the machinery used in this industry is domestically manufactured. Iran exports a large amount of chocolate and pastries each year. Figures from Iran's Chamber of Commerce showed that Iran's exports of these items stood at a staggering $800 million in 2019. Last year, around $450 million worth of these items were exported. Experts in the industry said the reason for the relative drop in exports last year was mainly due to the onset of the coronavirus pandemic. Pastries and confections are exported to a number of countries, including Japan, the US, Russia, Commonwealth of Independent States, and Europe, among many others. It might be interesting to know that Iran's food industry is not directly sanctioned by the US. The pastry and chocolate industry is operated by the private sector and makes up around 40% of Iran's total food exports. Iran's trade promotion organization is targeting $1 billion in the export of pastry and chocolate this year, meaning production has to increase to meet this goal. Iran's pastry and confections industry may seem like a sweet success story, but in fact, it has been faced with many challenges in recent years. Where Iran's pastry and confections production rates have been high on average over the years, production rates fell abnormally in 2020. Iran's confectionery, pastry and cafe pastry store owners union said the outbreak of COVID-19 complicated the market situation. But all things considered, the pastry and confections industry in Iran is thriving and has been a major contributor to the national economy. There are numerous investment opportunities in this booming industry with a promising future ahead. Okay, I shall now go and get some of those refreshments, including delicious Iranian pastries with a smooth tea from the north. While I do that, my good friend and colleague will take over to teach us all something new. Thanks to the Industrial Revolution, springs began being mass-produced around the turn of the 19th century, paving the way for quick and innovative advancement. An improvement in the production of steel meant that it could be made relatively cheaper, allowing the usage of springs to expand at a rapid pace. 
In our day-to-day -day lives, we use a lot of products that utilize springs to achieve their desired motion. What I can think of on the spot are the tiny springs we see in our pens and biros. Now, springs, because of their variety, are also a perfect example of how materials can be manipulated for different applications. Sanze Fanar Puyesh is one of the big production companies in Iran that specializes in spring manufacturing. Just to warm up, could you tell me a little bit about the background of the company? We are in 1971 in a small work. We started a small work in 94. شرکت ساز فنه رو به ثبت رسوندیم و یک مجموعه جدید رو اینجا احداث کردیم برای کارهای جدید تری برای خودروسازی و لوازم خونگی و کلی فنرهایی که در مجموعه ما تولید میشه از شاید یک محصول شروع کردیم تا امروز که حدود 2500 محصول در شرکت ساز فنه داره تولید میشه The rise of computer-aided design and drafting has made custom-made creations and cutting down on time, energy and waste possible. The same CAD software that can be used to design springs big enough to support entire buildings through an earthquake can also create 30 micrometer sized versions for medical use. A variety of CNC spring machines are used to manufacture extension springs. Now, typically, we use springs to apply an opposing force wherever we need it. Now, in these machines, by making slight adjustments, you can create springs with different tensions in line with the customer's requirements. Variable factors including wire composition, coil diameter and the amount of external force can be changed and calculated automatically to allow designers to come up with suitable, cost and time efficient manufacturing designs. The thing that we are working on from the government is the creation of the name IATF. کارهای جدیدی هم داریم تولید میکنیم مثل فنر جاروبرقی که تا امروز کسی نتونسته این تکنولوژی رو بیراده تو ایران The coil spring manufacturing process involves feeding a wire into a set of rollers that pull the spring wire into the wire guides. The said wire then comes into contact with a coiling point that coils the wire backwards forming a pigtail. New discoveries such as how heat treatment strengthens certain ferrous metals and alloys after being coiled allows numerous industries to expand the spring's application. This is a heat treatment oven and it's the standard equipment in most metalworking facilities. Now what happens is that springs go into this oven and they are heated to an optimal temperature and then the cooling process is completely controlled. This helps relieve the stress of the springs. Therefore it's quite natural that sometimes they are referred to as stress relieving ovens. Although a spring may seem like a minor component within a large device, functional failure of the spring could result in a device's complete malfunction. Can you tell me about the range of uh, clients that you have? Most of the برق و الکترونیک و صنعت نظامی داریم کار میکنیم الان ما زمانی که هر فنری رو یا هر سفارشی که از مشتری دریافت میکنیم بعد از تولید برای کنترل نهایی ضمن اینکه حالا ما حین تولید تمام محصولاتمون کنترل میشه ولی برای نهایی هم ما با کنترل نهایی تستی پورت میزنیم برای هر محصولی و همراه محصول به اون شرکت ارائه میدیم 
since many products rely on the durability of their springs, it is crucial to select high quality ones that will not fail prematurely. Typically, springs are tested to ensure their performance. For example, the device we have to my left is a spring fatigue testing machine that measures a spring's ability to withstand forces in a loading cycle. And the one you have behind me ensures the power of a spring, that the spring can deliver what it says it will. And of course, the device we have to my right is a salt spray testing device that actually tests the durability of the spring's coating. Protective coatings are often the most cost-effective method to prolong spring life in corrosive environments. صنعت فنرسازی شاید تا 10 سال پیش کلا حتی شرکت های بزرگ ما به صورت سنتی کار میکردن ولی امروز بزرگترین ماشینالات CNC رو از کشورهای اروپایی و کشورهای آسیایی آوردن و تقریبا من میخوام بگم تو ما تو صنعت فنرسازی الان به روز هستیم حتی همکارای ما صادرات دارن به کشور مثل فرانسه صادرات ما فعلا نداریم چون حجم تولید داخلی انقدر بالا هست که ما کارخونه همون سه شیفت داره کار میکنه هر دو تا کارخونه های ما سه شیفت کار میکنن ما هم انشالله جز اهدافمون هست که در آینده حتما این کار رو انجام بدیم Spring versatility suggests that the manufacture and use of spring technology isn't going to slow down anytime soon past few decades, the demand for minuscule springs has risen dramatically because of their use in mobile phones, touchpads and of course other modern electronic devices. So even after thousands of years of evolution, spring technology could have a future that's completely different to what it is today. Who knows, maybe even 4D printing and 2D materials will play a hand in it. Very big thank you. What a report. And with that, it's time to check out some news and trends in Iran's food industry. Bakeries across the country are finding new ways to increase their reach and serve their customers by incorporating technology. Aside from high-tech gadgets used to bake goods, there is an increasing trend of bakeries using internet platforms to reach customers. Many small business bakers are teaming up with app developers to create ways for customers to easily purchase products. Some joined larger scale platforms where their products can be found in supermarket applications and other web-based venues. Born out of sheer popularity for its pastries, the city of Yazd has launched a museum dedicated to its local confectionery and traditional sweets. The museum in the city of Yazd will offer wide-ranging traditional sweets under one roof. Local officials say the museum is expected to directly supply sweets to the visitors. The museum will add more charm to the culinary tourism of the historical city. It will also create job opportunities and boost the local economy. The Iranian government is drafting a policy to reduce salt that is put in bread in order to reduce health risks associated with high salt intake. Healthy move indeed. Iranians consume the most bread per capita in the world. Bread is categorized as a staple food in the country that is responsible for an average of 30% of daily salt intake. Salt is used for flavor, but also it helps yeast growth and it is also an important ingredient for maintaining high shelf life. High blood pressure among Iranians is on the rise and it can lead to hypertension and cardiovascular related diseases. The treatment of these diseases is often long term and costly, which can, in many cases, be preventable altogether.
Well, that covers our programme for today. Do get in touch with us and let us know your thoughts and ideas on this tasty industry. And why not tell us about your favourite Iranian dessert by emailing us or leaving a comment on Instagram. Until then, I've been Samson Seas. Sees you on the next Bazaar.